Oh, okay, okay. I, I won't. Yeah, paparazzi. Hey, kids. Happy Thanksgiving. We are now about one mile from home. Uh, we are traveling to Africa or Egypt or some faraway place where my sister lives. I don't want to go there. Yeah, the little one's still having issues. But we have a spaceship. This spaceship has everything. I said close that. Oh. Watch. Uh-huh. We'll check back in in a few minutes and watch. It'll be all quiet in the car. Dad. Thanks, Sean, for the for the hat. Trip check. 9.34 a.m. 10 miles from home. Things are a little quieter. It's, it's horrible rainy out. She doesn't want to get out of the car to throw the diaper away. She's, oh. <laughs> she's getting out. Nice. Back on the road again. Don't judge me. Somebody has to be the cameraman. The Columbia River Gorge. Yeah, there's a train. Welcome to the Dalles, Oregon. Turn left onto Trevitt Street. When you're low on dishes, the wife gets resourceful. <laughs> Is that the dog's dish? Yeah, it's clean. I washed it. Okay, they say a dog's mouth is cleaner than... Not true. They yeah. clean themselves after they... Oh, they lick their own... Yeah. After they go potty. <laughs> okay. Marriage is not complaining when your wife wants a dog that's about like a claw machine animal. You know, it's not your dog. You're not the dog owner. You're like the dog donor. You're, you're paying for all the vet or whatever. You're paying for all the food. You're paying for the classes, for the puppy classes and the fancy dog food and and the new bed and the flea medicine and everything. But you're like, not that wrapped up in it. But then when you're at the nice hotel and everybody's tucked in, she's all, I'm already in my jammies. Will you take the dog to poo? So, so you do it. You take the dog to poo. It's not a pit bull. It does not make you look tough. But she says, uh, it makes me a gentleman. These cousins, they, they take the turkey out of the backyard. Kill it. Pull off all of its feathers, rip out its gizzard, and throw it on the plate. These are my cousins, Cheryl and Brent. They're retired, believe it or not. I know they look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're gonna, Brent's gonna carve the turkey and we're gonna try to summarize Brent in like three words. Go ahead. Amazing Mr. Wonderful is Brent. He's good at anything, anything. He's like Mr. Fix-It, except maybe with the chainsaw. 
Well, we have yet to that, see about Yeah, that. well, I have, I'm saying no. <laughs> he might need a lesson or he might need to go to Lowe's and make He's some retired. money and hire a monkey. He wants to do his own tree work and, yeah. We're scared of that because so far he still has all of his fingers. Yeah, and I mm -hmm. do, I work with table saws well, and skill saws. And no, with chainsaws you worry about your head, your legs, your arms. Yeah. He doesn't even have chaps. Yeah, you need those. I need chaps. Yeah, I call it armor. Armor. You need your armor. I you need a hard hat, face shield, eye protection, gloves. Grace Tree Service from Hayden, I'm Idaho. I'm not oh. afraid to try. Grace Tree Service? I just heard of you. Hayden, Idaho. Mm-hmm. You're getting props here. Carol, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for all of the servicemen and women that keep our country safe. And protected because freedom isn't free. Ooh, good one. What are you thankful for? For the hotel we're staying in. This is Fibonacci. He's a very observant young man. What are you thankful for? <laughs> man, a few words. I'm thankful for this trip. It's different and it's fun to do things that are different. These kids are going to show me where the turkeys are. You smell those uh, animals? There's a blue jay stuck in here. Yuck. Ah, you never know what you're going to step in on a farm. I don't know. My shoes feel heavier. I'm going to shoo it out. Hey, I'll get him out of there. You guys just stay out of the door. All right, little blue jay. There it is. I shoot him out with my GoPro camera. I wish I could have put the camera on him. So when you see a turkey like that, that big one, yeah. does it make you hungry? No. No? When you see these turkeys, do you get hungry? Huh? Some turkeys die. Liberty said she was going to grab one of these turkeys, tear its feathers off, and throw it on a plate. Is that what you're going to do? All right, go pick one. She will do what you ask her to do. She's very good at Look! Finish. A bird that put it feathers out. Well, all this step on one and this kill it inside. Kill it and bring it inside? Mm -hmm. Alright. Go get it! And one there. Go get it! I need someone to help me kill it. Savage. She wants me to help her kill a turkey. When I was a kid, we used to play with these hot fences. Watch, I'll grab this fence and then I'll grab somebody else. Come here, Hez. Come here. Here, Mom, come here. She's not afraid. You grab the fence. And then when somebody comes by, Uh-oh, the dog went after the chickens. Where were you on the day after Thanksgiving 2016? <laughs> that was clever. What does the gizzard do for the turkey? Now, a gizzard is not like normally, I mean, that has rocks in it, and it, it's used to like mash up food. It's a great so, big muscle. So that check it out. Your food. This is a very uh, civilized lady, and very we're gonna. Civilized. Yeah, this is my Try first it. gizzard. First gizzard. Wow. Be amazed. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the city. Isn't that like just our turkeys rich? came from the grocery store where no animals were harmed. Mmm, uh -huh. it is good. My brother-in-law, who works on appliances, has nine kids. When you have nine kids, you buy big jars of peanut butter. This is my sister, Heather. We grew up out in the boonies together, up in Alaska. We had no electricity. We had no running water. If I was going to be a baby, I'd want to be this baby. And we, we close to a stop, and it's like... Total wilderness. And then I heard like a noise, like a car door. 
We're talking Booneyville, right? It is key to fill up on gas before you go on a trip to the beach. Up ahead, a car is like not on the road, but completely off the road in the bushes. I walk up to this guy. I felt scared when we commented up to the guy's car. You can smell guy living in car. <laughs> When do you want me to do that? Like, and I'm like, well, I don't know. I got my whole family like right up the road. Maybe you could do it now. <laughs> and I'm like, so where do I sit? And he's like, oh, you want to go with me? And I'm all, well. And there was like this long, awkward silence of where. We were not using language to communicate that I was worried about him never coming back uh -huh. <coughs> with my money. I gave him a hundred dollars and asked him to go get me some gas somewhere. He said it was 10 miles from here. He said, yeah, he'll be right back. So now that's our current adventure is, will he be back? I only had $100 bills. <laughs> and, and sadly, I had not differentiated them from one another in my wallet. <laughs> so to pull out any bill, he probably to would To pull out any out bill, hurt. I had to pull out the whole suitcase of cash. <laughs> I told him, if you come back with fuel, you can keep the change. Anyway. <laughs> you have 100 I did. I had no other, I had no other way. He gave me all the change and he wouldn't take it. Yeah. Cool. Let me put the GoPro on this thing and see what it looks like. This, these are the donors. 